Mississippi State is headed to the Liberty Bowl. What's the reaction to that? I mean, I, I know there wasn't a ton of surprise. You you were of the opinion on Thursday when we talked about it yeah. that the Liberty Bowl was the destination. Nothing mm-hmm. changed over the course of the weekend. I talked to someone yeah. Saturday night and said, oh, yeah, no, State's going to Liberty Bowl. No questions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, what's the reaction among Mississippi State fans? Uh, by and large, it, it's it's kind of meh, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Uh, you know, they're they're excited to see the team continue to play postseason football. You know, twelve straight seasons now, but you know, a Liberty Bowl. You know, you already played a game there this year. Um, you know, Memphis is. I was talking to some friends about this. I think I may have brought it up on the show Friday when you when you were out. But you know, you think about the Liberty Bowl now. That is the absolute worst stadium that the SEC has a bowl tie in with by far. Now, now that Birmingham gone. Exactly. And I, I won't be surprised in a couple of years if there's a flip in the in the tiers there. If Birmingham goes up and Liberty comes down if they can't improve the facilities there. But that said, the matchup is intriguing because you have Mike Leach versus Texas Tech. Not in the courtroom now. Now we're doing this on the field. Uh, I know it's been a long time since he coached there, but his legacy still sort of remains there. Uh, I know that, you know, in that area of Texas, especially the high school coaches, they all still sort of, you know, have that relationship with them. That's why you see so many air raid teams in that in that part of Texas. So from a matchup standpoint, I think it's very interesting, and I think it's a game State can win. I think State has you – know, normally I'm, I'm a big bowl games are kind of meaningless guy, but I feel like this one State will be motivated to win, not just because of the situation with Leach and Texas Tech, but – the difference between eight and five and seven and six is very tangible for state this year. When when you consider the the fact that they had so many close calls in games and probably lost some games they should have won, getting an eighth win would be would be big for them. I don't I don't think you want to go into the offseason having lost two in a row. I would agree with that. Is is attendance at the Liberty Bowl? perhaps more than ever before dictated on weather. Like, it can be cold yeah. and nasty for the Liberty Bowl. We've seen I mean, that. But you can also get the... Kick. Yeah. If, if it's going to be bad, it's going to be real bad, you would think, right? Well, yeah. I mean, it's like... I, I think I've been both the hottest and the coldest in my life. Yes. In yes. that very stadium. Same, same. And there have been a lot of Liberty Bowls with nasty weather. But what if you get one of those days where it's like a high of 64 on December 28th and it's sunny? Is that one of those deals where people look at the forecast that week and they're like, I mean, it's state playing football. Let's go. Yeah, that's the thing with this game, with it being in Memphis, is you can make a late decision. You don't have to book a flight for the most part if you're a state fan. You don't have to. You really don't even have to book a hotel room. You can just go up and come back the same day from, from most parts of the state. So. Yeah, I think you're right. People probably wait that out a little bit because, I mean, what was it, in 13, I, I don't remember if it was really cold or not, but that game was played early in the day, beautiful sunny day, and, and the crowd was huge that day. Um, we'll, see what, we'll see what this one brings. I, but I agree that, you know, if it, that stadium is somehow simultaneously hotter than the seventh ring of the Devil's Residence and colder than a pawnbroker's heart. That was some very illustrative language you used Thank there. You. I wanted to go. I wanted to really try there. Um, Borky, you like the matchup, Mississippi State Texas Tech? Depends on what you mean by like the matchup. If like the matchup in terms of ability to win the game, then yeah, yeah, I like that matchup. The storyline. I mean, the last place to fire Mike Leach. Yeah, lawsuit, all that. That's compelling. The game itself should not be in a good way for state. Yeah. Shouldn't be. Six and six Texas Tech team. Mm-hmm. Seven and five Mississippi State team. And and they had some good wins. They beat West Virginia. They were Houston's only loss prior to this past weekend. Uh, and they beat somebody else who's a bowl team as well. I can't. They were a missed was, field Iowa goal. State. Iowa State they beat. Yeah. yeah, they were a missed field goal as time expired from sin- taking Baylor to overtime. Yeah, yeah, lost by one to Kansas State. So had some, you know, had maybe some similarities there between Mississippi State and uh, and Texas Tech. They you know, they probably both have some games that they'd like to have. 